Welcome Cancers, I'm back again with another banging ass video for y'all. This is going to be for the remainder of December. So you definitely don't want to miss out on this video, honey. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I just feel like this read right here. This is what everybody is needing at the end of the year going into the new year so we can see what's what, okay? So let's see what messages we get for my Cancers. This is going to be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So if you have Cancer anywhere in that area of your chart, you can utilize this video, okay? So you could just simply take what applies and leave what does not, okay? Um... Over here, we don't try to force things to fit. That does not, okay? It is a general read as well. I think I said that. <laughs> but if you guys are interested in uh, becoming part of the community, don't forget to click that subscribe button, okay? And the bell, hit that bell so you can get in the notification gang, all right? So let's talk, Cancers. Let's see what we got for you guys. What messages are there for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Venus? For the remainder of December, please. all right so we got the ten of wands so you could be feeling a little um burdened feeling like you have a lot on your plate okay um i'm also getting that there could be like a, a disagreement a battle that um you're trying to win an uphill battle okay but you feel burdened it's like you are doing everything in your power to win um or have some type of comeback i'm getting like you're putting in everything that you got okay yeah Okay, I'm getting that your guard is up. You're very guarded. You could be afraid that things could fall apart or something could go really wrong, possibly in some type of connection or bond or relationship. Mine's the tower here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. There's a there's a big showdown. Okay, and you are for sure, for sure, very guarded. You're aware that something could go left. Okay, you're very aware. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Could be dealing with the Libra. But you want to get your get back. You want your lick back. <laughs> Why is the justice card here? Yeah, some type of truth has been revealed or is getting ready to be revealed, okay? Could be a Capricorn involved, but somebody gets, uh, uh, finds out about a third party here. The Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, for sure. Um, you're not sure what the hype is. Um... Last, give me more about justice. Okay. 
Are you trying to avoid this? I feel like some of y'all have been just keeping to yourself. Um, and then just out of the blue, something occurs. Why is the seven of wands here? I'm getting, I'm just minding my own little business. And then this, why is the seven of wands here? Six of wands. I'm getting like y'all are fighting some, something or someone. You're trying to win. You're trying to come out on top. Like you're, you're. You're giving something all you got, okay? You're aware of something. Why is the Eight of Swords here? That someone is tired of... Um, and you don't want to. You don't want to argue and fight and nitpick. You're not really into that. But why is the Two of Swords here? King of Pentacles, King of Cups. Nine of Cups. Oh, somebody got to make some type of decision here. There's a decision between two people. You're spying on somebody to see how someone feels. Um, could be a Leo. We got the strength card here. Why is the page of swords here? You want to see if someone regrets an action that they took. Okay, so you're spying to see if somebody is is regretting something here. Somebody made a bad decision. Or you feel like it's a really bad decision. Um, I'm picking up on Capricorn's energy. Okay, you, you was telling this person that this moment would come. I get it in the past. You were telling someone like, you, you kept warning someone like, keep on and this could happen or this could go this way. You know, I feel like you kept re, like telling this person this. Somebody here has control issues or something to that nature as well. But somebody is reckless as hell and some type of truth just flies out just just flies out the truth finally comes out somebody has been holding this back you could have been holding this secret back okay but i feel like it's get it can't it can't be held anymore it's busting out it's busting out that there has been some somebody has been playing some games here somebody's been being sneaky somebody's been doing the most all right, and then we also got a marriage here. Okay, somebody could be living at home with someone or have someone at home or there's a marriage. Okay, why is the two of cups here? Yeah, you feel like your relationship is in big trouble. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I see a husband here. There's some secrets. Somebody has a secret relationship, okay? Somebody has somebody here on the side that they're talking to. This is what this is the truth that comes out. Why is the Ace of Swords here? For some of you, I got a fire sign here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, the Ace of Swords. You give this person a chance to tell the truth, to speak up. Yep. And at this point, you're worried. You're worrying because you found out about this third party. And you're making this a big deal. This person could have known. They wanted, I feel like this person, the person that you're dealing with, wanted to piss you off. And they knew that this would make you, that this, I feel like they would did this on purpose to get your attention. Okay, I'm going to tell you this, they were being unfaithful and sneaky and sly because they just felt like things that were going on between you just weren't working, okay? So they could have also like felt alone 
and they wanted to have some fun. And they hope you understand. And that's what I'm getting out of this. And, and that's what I'm getting. Like, these are their exact words. Okay? They knew that eventually you would, you know, find out. Um, but the, their reasons for doing this, they wanted you to, to find this out and figure this out. This was a way for you, for them to kind of like get your attention. Why is the Eight of Cups here? I think you just, this is a wake up call. Like you didn't even see this. You didn't even see it coming. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, the star. Yeah, see, you're, you, you feel like you tell them, I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I hope it was worth it. Ooh, because they just messed up your trust. Messed up your trust. And something is completely ended and over. Something is done. Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, you could be moving on from this person. Okay? This person just, just messed up your trust. You no longer trust this person. You might have went through their phone, seen some messages. You no longer trust this person. That's it. That's it. You don't trust them. take them they just jumped out like i didn't even get a good chance to shuffle but we'll i'll take them i will take them and uh, we got unity here at the bottom okay um so you could be trying to uh unify this situation we got the eight of water this is someone walking away the king of earth someone here is the breadwinner or is a, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting male, but could possibly be like the breadwinner. We got the King of Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, and we got the Seven of Wands. There's that fight. There's that fight. I'm getting walk away, put up or shut up. Either you're going to walk away or you're going to fight for it. And I feel like that's where your head is at this point. Like, why is the Eight of Water here? Ace of air, there's that truth. The truth comes out that somebody has something going on on the side, a part of a, a relationship that's on the side. And see the sun card here could be Leo, but I'm also getting that these are um, these are thoughts. Like you you think about this a lot, okay? And you you're also thinking about how you can make some changes, okay? What changes you may possibly need to make, what changes they need to make, but you're finding out that somebody is a liar. They're tired of being lied to. King of Earth and the King of Water. The Moon. I'm picking up on Pisces. And then we got that Ten of Fire. That's that burden, burden energy. Okay. All these secrets. Queen of Air. Okay. Knight of Fire. There's some. We got awakening. Realize that this person is playing. Is being a player. Okay. Realize, wake up and realize that this situation, somebody here isn't being truthful. King of Fire, the magician. Yeah, this person is playing little mind games. There's that three of air. There's that third party. Could be a fire sign. Okay, we got renewal and life experience. They could want to renew this and bring the passion and fire back into the situation and telling you that they're having regrets okay and that they did it to get your attention um and this is just karma okay pay attention now this is the seven of fire is are you going to fight for this are they willing to fight for this why is the seven of fire here the emperor this could be a baby father or uh, someone who's older You got the ten of air. Somebody wants to end this. Okay. You may feel like you don't have any more fight left. Three of water. 
and you feel betrayed. Somebody's big ass ego got in the way and messed everything up. The dreamer, the fool, the fool. They let their ego get in the way. Um, page of fire, four of fire. There could definitely be like a marriage here um, or an engagement. But maybe there needs to be like some type of counseling or group session or something to that nature. Okay. Why's the who why's the six of earth here? Five of earth. Somebody's feeling rejected. You feel rejected. And then it's causing you a lot of worry. Yeah, and see we got release. Okay, so release this situation. Justice is going to be served, okay? Justice is going to be served regardless. You're going to still come out on top of this situation. Um, just, just realize what you're dealing with. Pay attention to the type of person that you're dealing with, their patterns. Just pay attention. Pay attention to the signs. Let's see the type of uh, love messages we get. So I'm going to see how you feel about your person. Then I'm going to see how they feel about you. Show me how does cancer feel about that person. Honeymoon. Let go of control issues. And unrequited love. See, yeah. You may be turning to your friends and trying to get advice from your friends because you're still trying to keep an open mind on giving this situation a, a real deal shot. But you may feel like disconnected from this person. And you may feel as well like this person has control issues. They try to control everything. And this is causing the situation to be unrequited. This is causing the situation to be imbalanced. Okay. And it's just not something about it. It just isn't fair. Okay. So maybe you feel like, you know, it's time for you to take some type of break. From this person um or you know try to uh disconnect and just you two spend some alone time together but let's see how this person is feeling about you we got religious factors we got engagement and separation yeah and this could be the one for yourself very soon okay so this person feels like you're special, you know, you could be the one that they want to engage or take things to the next level with. But there's also a sense of like kind of allowing you to be free. OK, so if you're bringing up this, bringing up a scenario of like maybe we should take some time apart. I feel like they agree as far as a separation. OK, and this we're getting very soon. I'm going to do one more card. We got attraction. Okay, I said I was going to pull one more card, but I actually pulled a couple more. Um, there is a conversation that's getting ready to be had very soon, okay? And you may need support from friends, um, but there's going to get ready, get ready for a heart-to-heart a -heart conversation, okay? A heart-to-heart conversation. Yeah, see, you may want this person to express, see, see, yeah, you want to be free as well, too. Like, you want to have some sorts of freedom. You may feel like this person is too controlling. But both of you guys feel like you guys are each other's true love. But there may be an issue in uh, the finances, finances and career, trying to mesh together your finances and your careers together. And let's see what um, angel messages we got. What action should my cancers take for the remainder of December? Ooh. Within the next few months. Forgiveness. And we are unlikely. 
big happy changes are on its way to you. Okay, so let's see what's going on within the next few months. Nine of Wands, the Lovers, and the Two of Wands. There's a decision that you got to make on whether or not to cut somebody off. Okay, whether or not to cut this person off um, and stand your ground. Okay, so stand up for yourself. Um, there, I feel like some of you uh, with the Nine of Wands, that's kind of like when your guard is up. But I feel like for some of you, either you're too guarded or you need, may need to let your guard down. But for some, I feel like you need to let your guard up. Okay, like you need to be more aware of a situation here. We got forgiveness, two of pentacles. Yeah, um, you're waiting for someone here to make up their mind on what they want. Okay, you're getting pretty upset, um, jealous, maybe even about uh you may be watching other people's relationships or something like that how other people are getting along and finding peace and balance and you want that you want to be able to be on the same page okay you want to be stable all right and then we got unlikely seven of swords wanted to jump why is unlikely here three of swords justice okay so it's unlikely there's that seven of swords Okay, it's unlikely here. It's unlikely that someone here is going to get a divorce with the Three of Swords and the Justice card. That's pretty much like a separation or a divorce. So it's unlikely that there could, you know, that there's going to be a divorce or there's going to be a long period of a separation. But somebody here is just, um, just I'm just getting like really sneaky. Okay, and... Um, I get to, there's a tower moment here. That's an awakening. You got two awakening cards here. And it could be definitely about a third party. This this Empress is the mother card. So this could be like, um, uh, this is very feminine energy. As well as this is Taurus or Libra's energy as well. Because everybody isn't going through a third party situation. But I just, I just got to call it like I see it. I'm getting as well too, like taking a first step, taking a first step. I feel like you're going to be taking some type of first step, first step on something, okay, on a new beginning, a new start. Yeah, but after I said, after you get this conversation, a lot of you are getting ready to get have a heart to heart conversation. And some of you don't want to separate from this person because you don't want to be alone. You don't know how to be alone. Um, and you don't want to be by yourself. Just point blank. You don't want to be by yourself. But I feel like get get prepare yourself for some type of truth. Some type of uh, heart to heart conversation. Okay. Prepare yourself for that. There is getting ready to be a conversation um, coming up. Okay, there is getting ready to be some type of conversation. All right, so I hope this reading was helpful. All right, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. Y'all make sure y'all um, like, comment, and share as well. If you are interested in booking your own personal reading, guys, that information is in the drop box below as well. You can check out the website. There are still a few items still left. I'm getting ready to restock. Okay, I got some new items, some new things coming. All right, so check out the description box, okay? And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.